guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how i made these super cute minnie and mickey yard art stakes halloween's coming up so i just thought this would be a really fun project to create some yard art for halloween So I designed the Minnie and Mickey ghosts within my Adobe Illustrator program. There are some files you can find on Etsy, but I would just be aware that these types of files aren't really supposed to be sold because of copyright issues. So just be mindful of that. They, you can find them on Etsy if you are looking for a quick, easy solution, but just, just be aware. So what I did was I designed all the different pieces. So I designed the outline, for Minnie Mouse, I did a bow and I actually added little hands and a pumpkin because I just thought that would be really cute if she was wearing a little pumpkin. The first thing I cut out was the backdrop of the Minnie Mouse ghost and then I had the Glowforge score all the pieces and this just really helps when trying to figure out where to place the second layer of everything. And then after I cut out my Minnie and Mickey, I cut out all of the individual pieces. So these are the pieces we're gonna paint and we're gonna glue on top of the backdrop. So now we have everything cut out and we gotta paint it. So uh, you can see here where the scored lines are really, really helpful in placement of these top pieces. I've been seeing a lot of people doing these light pink pumpkin projects this Halloween, and I thought to do the accessories like Minnie's bow and Mickey's bow tie and the pumpkin, to do those pink would be perfect. I just, I love how this turned out. So I decided on pink for that. And then the little hands, I'm gonna paint white. And the face, I'm gonna paint black. And I did do a couple of coats on these. So I'm only gonna show you the one coat I spray painted here, but I did do at least two coats on everything. I'm gonna first glue the stake onto the back of the Minnie and Mickey. I just think it would make it easier than having to go back and do it after painting. So I put a little bit of wood glue on the stake and then I position it on the back. I left a little bit hanging down. I just eyeballed it. I didn't measure, but just enough that I thought it would be able to stay in the ground and not fall over. And then I'm going to use these clamps to hold it down really tight while it's drying. So now that they're dry, we're gonna flip them back over and we're gonna paint them. Looking back, I do wish that I had not scored where the pumpkin would go. I thought when I painted over everything, it would actually cover the lines and you wouldn't be able to see them, but you would be able to faintly see them up close, but not see them from a distance. And that actually didn't happen. You can see when I spray paint it, that the lines still show up pretty well. So I wish I had not scored the pumpkin piece, but I am glad I scored everything else because it just really, really helps with placement when you go to put everything together. After you glue everything down, you really can't see the lines at all. I, it just helped put everything into place. Here's where I mentioned that I wish I hadn't scored the pumpkin because the pumpkin is on a third layer and so you from certain angles you can still see the etched pumpkin in the background but it doesn't bother me it's it's okay if it's not perfect for me and from the distance you really can't tell you really can't see it at all once everything was dried I did decide that I wanted to paint some lines on the pink pumpkin and this did not quite go as I had hoped. It didn't look exactly the way I wanted it to. The markers kind of got stuck on the paint. My hand wasn't steady enough, and so some of these lines got a little funky, but I was able to thicken them up. I also ended up outlining the pumpkin with the marker. I think that helped a little bit. I did end up painting the stem gold on the pumpkin. I love that little detail, and from a distance, I think it looks great. 
Once everything dried, I did spray a couple of coats of polyurethane on the front and back of the ghosts. This is just to help protect everything from the elements outside. So this is the final product. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you could give this video a like, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you like this content, check out my channel for more and I'll catch you guys in the next one.